Hello everyone. Today I will introduce how to display multiple languages by using Unicode. First, I will demonstrate the final effect for you. By sending command. The doing screen will display Korean. The following is a detailed explanation of the relevant parameters. First, let's look at the Unicode encoding range, which shows all the characters and embers of the world's language that can be displayed using the Unicode. 00002FFF contains all languages. Using all ranges of languages would take up a lot of storage space, so we choose the language we need. Here take Korean for example. The range of Korean is AC002 D7F. Where you stands for Unicode. We will generate Unicode fonts for Korean, so let's look at the settings. You can download the font generator from the official website. Font coding we select Unicode, and the software settings must be consistent. Select character code. Through scale and shift you can adjust the upper, lower, left and right positions of the font to a reasonable display. Set dot matrix size. The Korean character library must be equal in width and height. Input Unicode font range. Next, introduce how to name the file. Let's take 16 no flash as an example. Positions 0 through 11 are occupied by the 0 file. Number 12 is the input file. Number 13 is touch file occupied. The 14 is display file occupied. It's free to use from the 15. The size of each space is 256 KB. 16 no flash is divided into 64 PCS, so single size is 256 subspace. File 22 is the initial value. 32 is the page images file. 48 is icon images file. The following is about sending command. 
We will use the software of SCON. You can download it from the official website. Because it's part of the code that's truncated. So you need to subtract the starting code when writing instructions. The resulting value is the correct character encoding. All values need to be expressed in hexadecimal. The result is 8b. Finally is the software setting. The display control we will use is text display. The X and Y is coordinates of the upper left comma of the display area. The W and H is display area width and height. SP the pointer address is set by default or according to need. VP the variable storage space. User can use the address range arbitrarily. You can select the text color you like. Encoding mode used to generate the word base. I select Unicode. Font alignment, I choose left alignment. Font 0 ID ask font location. Default font 0 or set coding to needs. Font 1 ID. Set the font ID according to your needs. Put it in the Doing ACT folder in advance. Set the number same as the font ID. The X and Y direction lattice number cannot be set arbitrarily. The number of dot matrix in the Y direction must be an even number when generating the font library. So I set 24 multiple 24. Horizontal and vertical character spacing can be adjusted. Initial value is power on status. I set it to power on not to show. Next, I will show you the operation process. Open Digger's software. Click New Create a New Project. Choose the resolution same as the screen. Select File Pass.
add background image. Then generate echo file. Click setting. Choose stickers. Click ICL tool. Select background picture. Generate ICL. Save it in doing ACT file. Name it 32. Then open the font generator software. Here we will generate a Korean font file. The font range is modified to a C00 to D7F. This is the size of the character canvas. Font coding is selected as Unicode. Character is set as a CHB. You can adjust the width and the height of the character by the scale. You can adjust the distance of the character from the canvas border by the shift. Set the number of the dots to 24 multiple 24. Click Create. Save it in doing ACT file. The font name is free to use from the 15. So I set 15. Open the software. Add display control text display. The VP number I set 1000. Select the color you want. Encoding mode select Unicode. Alignment choose center alignment. Text length I set 10. Font 0 ID set 0. Font 1 ID set 15. The X and Y direction lattice number set 24 multiple 24.
horizontal and vertical character set 0. Delete initial value. OK, settings are done. Click Save and Generate. Then copy this file to SD card. Input SD card. Power on. When the screen shows the end, demo burning is complete. Power off and take out the SD card. Power on. Open SCUM and select the correct serial port for the RAID. Copy this command. Input the command. Click Send. To see that the corresponding Korean character is displayed on the screen. Have you learned it?